Hey guys, Mike Giles here from Black Knight Studios. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video about how to create custom QR codes, and by that I mean placing logos on top of the QR code and changing the colors, things like that. Um, I haven't seen a lot of information out there about that, um, and I know I was a little confused when I first uh, heard about it, so I wanted to post a video. Hopefully it'll help you guys out, so let's get started. So I'll start off by going to createandtrack.com. Um, it's spelled a Q and not with a C, as you can see in the logo. Um, you know, and there's a lot of different websites out there that offer the same services, but I like this one because it allows you to easily create your own. Um, it generates a QR code for you, and then um, if you pay, you can um, track the service, so um, you can see where people are loading your website from um, on their mobile devices, and so you can see where the tra traffic's really being generated, and that'll help you build um, even more traffic. So it's a nice service, and uh, I think this is a good a good uh, website to use. So you can go to click here and uh, try for free and I'll just type in the uh, HTTP because um, it just it's just safer that way um, you know you know that people are definitely gonna get directed to your site sometimes using www can, uh, can confuse the browser and things like that so uh, just uh, click get your code and um, so it'll pop up right here and you can right click and copy it or you can go to download your QR code right here um, and I'll do that. And obviously, guys, I'm using a, a Mac, so um, if you're using a PC, things will be a little bit different. But um, you know, it'll go, you can just do download to your uh, download your code, you know, save it to your desktop, and uh, move on from there. It'll be similar. And I'm just gonna click my downloads down here, um, the little download uh, pop up, and then click and drag the image into Photoshop. And that's just the easiest way to do it. Again. I could have just gone up to File, Open, and um, you know selected the file from my desktop in here, but uh, I'll you know just keep it simple. So I press F to expand my canvas, and uh, so here's the uh, QR code that uh, Create and Track generated for me. And um, obviously it's very simple. This is just a generic QR code, but um, we're gonna customize it right now. So we'll go up to File, and we'll go to Place. And this is just uh, the easiest way to place uh, an external file that's on your computer into an existing document. So, um, and we have the logo right here, the Black Knight logo. And I'm using a PSD because that maintains the transparencies in the background of my logo. Um, so I'll click Place. And uh, so as you can see, um, if I had placed a, uh, a JPEG, all of this around here, that's... Um, you know, right here would be white, but I wanna I wanna make sure that I use a PSD or a PNG because uh, that'll maintain the transparency that I have in the document. Um, so now that we have the logo in here, I'm just gonna kind of center it, and you know this is already looking good. Um, but it you know it's important to realize that when you're creating these logos uh, on top of your QR code, you only want to cover up us. You know you want to cover up a very small percentage because if you cover up too much, um, the QR code. Uh, won't be read properly by your smartphone. So I'm going to press Command T and um, and then I'm going to grab the uh, handle up top and press Shift Alt and kind of you know just reduce the size of the the logo and I'll press Command Enter and that'll uh, you know get me out of there and I will as you can see the logo is just sitting in the middle now and it's um, you know this is about the size that you want to shoot for when you're putting the logo in any bigger and it, m it may not work um, but the most important thing to do while you're creating these is just to continually test. Um, use a droid, use an iPhone if you can, if you have access to those kinds of things. Um, I have a droid and I was testing on it and then I used my friend's iPhone and I found out it wasn't working properly so it's important to make sure that it works on uh, you know different phones. So now I'm going to go down and create a new layer and I'm actually going to drag that layer below the logo and I'm going to go to the paintbrush. And the reason I'm doing this is just to kind of clean up the look of the, the logo. So I'm going to drag it down to black, press OK, and uh, you know we're behind the logo so you can kind of just paint in behind there and uh, I'm going to harden up the brush and actually reduce the brush size. And uh, yeah again this is just to kind of clean up the background. Um, you know and you can be more precise when you're doing it yourself um, but I'm not too concerned with how it looks. I just want to get the point across that you know, you can kind of, you can really customize this center part here, um, you know, to whatever, you can do whatever you want. And um, so now that we've got that, um, we're, we're looking pretty good. 
And the, the only other thing that you really, um, that I'm going to show um, is just that you can change the color of the background. So I'm going to use my magic wand tool, press W, and uh, click the black part. And I have the tolerance set at 20. You can set it at really anything because it's black and white. It'll pick that up. So I've got the black selected. And now I'm just going to go to like a dark green, press OK, and uh, I'll make the brush size a little bigger and make it softer. And, you know, just kind of do something like kind of fun like this. Um, and, uh, yeah, so you can do all kinds of different things. And so now you can see it's like, you, you know, we have kind of like a green and black br uh, gradient back there. And I just think it looks a little bit nicer as a designer. This is much more appealing than your typical QR code. Um, you know, it's just very important that you test it to make sure it works and scans properly so that, you know, you know, that people can uh, see your website when they scan it in. So that, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Now, um, you know, it's a PSD, so I'll probably go up and um, save as, um, you know, and I'll just say Black Knight Custom uh, QR Code. I don't know, you, that's obviously not the greatest naming convention, but you get the idea, and I'll save it now as a, a JPEG, <clears throat> and uh, you know JPEG is obviously gonna gonna be what we we're gonna want to use um, when we upload it to uh, a website or things like that. And you know my ideas uh, for uses of QR code, um, I have it for my profile uh, picture on Facebook, which you know isn't the the greatest place to have it because somebody's already online, um, they could just click a link. They don't need to use their smartphone. But um, I have, also have it on my business card. Um, and I'm going to make some stickers and put them up around Boston and see if I can generate some traffic that way. So just some uh, some fun ways to generate some traffic, get people to your site. And uh, it's just it's a fun, fun way to market yourself. So hopefully uh, this helped, and uh, see you guys in the next video.